On today's episode of Clown World News, the Anti-Defamation League says that the OK symbol is now a symbol of hate. Hate, hate. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, what, what do we say? So for those that don't know, this started off as a big troll. They got trolled into this. Um, I don't know if you guys remember not too long ago. It was memes going around. We tried to do it with the the pigeon too, right? And just making up random stuff saying that this was a symbol of, 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 of hate. And all it took was just a couple of a couple of memes and here we are. This symbol is a symbol of hate. Now this is a symbol that means a lot of different things depending on where you're from, where you're at. The fact that they can just say that it's a it's a now a hate symbol is hilarious to me. Um, for those that knew who, who you know who I am and know what what I grew up doing, you know all my bros are bloods that I grew up with. So I gotta go back and tell all all my partners that throwing up bees is now a symbol of hate. Which you can make that argument anyway, um, depending on how you feel about gangs. But they didn't do it because you know bloods are doing they were doing you know. They're saying that it's a amp symbol of hate because uh, they got trolled in a, into this, and uh, maybe a couple of people adopted it. Uh, and that's all that it took. <laughs> but the Anti Defamation League is a joke. It's a joke of a organization. It's been a joke of an organization. Um, and I thought this. I think this proves it that the power of the internet and the internet is a very powerful thing in terms of how you can influence culture. I've discussed this, I don't know how many times, uh, and, and, and on several different approaches where, and I think that's what it proves. If we can make people run with that and we can have that catch on in such a short period of time that it now has big organizations claiming that it's just that when it started off just as a gag, a meme, here we are. This is what happens, this is the power, this is how powerful it is. So with that being said, on a serious note, what it should prove is that some narratives are orchestrated. Some narratives, and you should already know that, but some narratives are not as authentic as it is a group of people that may have influence, that may have platforms pushing a particular narrative um, and it doesn't take much for it to catch on and all it takes for, you know, somebody to acknowledge it as such. And then we've run with this as the truth. It's dangerous, but that's just so, the, sort of the reality. But as far as how I analyze it, that's the that's how I look at it. On a serious note is that it should, if anything, highlight how it doesn't take much to have some people run with something. So what makes you think that this can't happen with other things? So I'm going to end this. Um, you may think it's related. You may think it's not. I am saying this. Take your kids out of public school.